if I get half, we're just gonna be happy, okay? We're just, we're just gonna be pleased with that. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today, fuck, I don't even want to say it. We, <laughs> I have been avoiding filming this video for about an hour now. I've been ready. I could have filmed the whole video, but I've been avoiding it. We're going to be reacting to my 2021 TBR that I made at the start of the year of 21 books I have to read this year. And like, listen, it's not going to go well. I already, I'm, I'm setting myself up for failure. So that if we have slightly less failure, we're still pleased. <laughs> I lost the hope today. I'm empty. I remember when I made this TBR, I thought I had it. I like so believed in myself that these were the books I was going to read this year. And then I'm just pretty sure that hasn't happened. But let's not be negative. Let's not be negative, Nancy's. We've we've got this. But before we get into the video, I want to say a massive thank you to our sponsor for this video, which is Book of the Month. Before I speak about Book of the Month and what they do at all, I want you guys to know that they have got a code, especially for December, for you to get your first box for only $5. What? A new release hardcover book for $5. And the code is JOLLY. So you want to put that in at checkout. Listen, this is like the best deal ever. So I'm just like telling you that straight up before any of you skip, which you shouldn't do anyway. But like, if, we, if any of you were thinking of it, now you know not to and to go use the code JOLLY for your first one for only $5. So Book of the Month, it's a super popular online service for readers. I'm sure you've heard of them and what they do, but basically their team collates this selection of new and emerging authors of some of the most exciting books that are coming out that month. There's five that they choose in total and you can pick one to get as your book of the month. <laughs> Actually, it's a selection of new and early release. Often they have like at least one book a month that's like not gonna come out for a little while, but you can get it early if you want. There's literally always something for everyone. There's always a great mix of genres, but if something doesn't happen to interest you that month, you can always skip a month. So there's, it's basically risk-free. They have the best price for hardcover fiction in the US. It's literally like the best deal you can get. And I genuinely think there'll be like one book a month that you're literally so excited for, you personally, with your personal reading taste. So I absolutely love it. Now it is important for me to say that they're currently only available in the US so if you're like in Canada or the UK they currently don't ship to you but if you're in the US you can take advantage of the deal okay let's talk about the December's books because they had a great selection firstly we have got the holiday swap by Maggie Knox this is the romance book of the month and listen I'm actually I might read this I'm hoping I'll be able to fit it into like my TBR a bit it's a Christmas romance of these two twins who swap places basically and then you start to fall in love with like a guy in the other's life but they're pretending to be one another and also it's like all baking they're bakers they're like chefs and like i listen i am obsessed with the great british bake-off right now and I'm, I'm almost finished but i'm currently on like a bake-off like moment at the moment so i'm hoping i could fit this into my tbrs it's one that i'm really excited for and i feel like it's kind of fitting the mood i'm in right now we have olga dies dreaming by zotchel gonzalez we have a mother who abandoned our protagonist young in her life to kind of um pursue this kind of political revolution that was happening at the time and she's coming back we have a memoir by ashley c ford this is somebody's daughter this is very much about family about a coming of age memoir and then my two like favorite ones of the month there's two here that i would have struggled to choose between we have A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. This, I think, is a debut. Am I right? I feel like this is a debut and it's already getting so much hype. Like, this is going to be one of the biggest thrillers. We're following our protagonist whose father was convicted of a series of murders that happened. He confessed, he went away, but now similar murders are happening in the area, like, I think, 20 years on. And so the question is, is there a copycat killer or was the right person never sentenced? And this has already been, like, mission to be adapted by Emma Stone what the hell so this is like that's quite rare I think for a book before it's even come out to be being made into a tv show and then the one that I'm most excited for this was on my most anticipated releases of this year list it is a history of wild places by Shay Earnshaw this sounds right up my street like it's kind of magical realism -y. we have this guy who had a special talent for finding missing people all he had to do was touch an item of theirs and he could find them and he went to this very tiny community called 
pastoral to find someone who'd gone missing from that community and then he goes missing and then years later someone is trying to solve his mystery so I've heard so many good things about it I think the cover is so haunting and special and yeah I this one oh I just I'm so excited this is like one of the best selections I feel like of books we've had and then one of my favorite things about book of the month is that you can have add-ons you can add stuff onto your order if you want and the add-on that they've sent this month is the Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. Listen, I always said John Green should write an adult. We're halfway there because I meant adult fiction. He's written a non-fiction, but like I am so excited for this. This is one I've been kind of, I've almost bought it myself a couple times. It's kind of like a, just a non-fiction look at the human race as it is now, our world as it is now. It's just on like loads and loads of different topics like throughout the world. And I'm just very excited for this as well. So don't forget to use the code JOLLY to get your first book for only $5, which is a crazy price. I absolutely love Book of the Month. I think they're quite quality, their attention to detail in the books that they pick is absolutely amazing so I cannot recommend them enough. Okay, we're gonna get into the video. I'm, I actually, I feel very nervous. <laughs> God give me fucking strength. Part of me wants to believe in myself because I've read like over 100 books this year. Most of, like I should have been able to fit 20 of these books on it but like tastes change, tastes evolve throughout the year. I'm just so I'm nervous. Anyway, let's see. Let's embarrass myself. Hey everyone, Hi. welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good. And today we're gonna to be chatting about the 21 books I wanna read in 2021. Now, <laughs> last year I did do a series I wanna read. Oh yeah. That and it didn't go that well. <laughs> I did so badly in the series one. I was like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do a general TBR. And then this hasn't gone well either, I feel like. I thought it would okay. be more realistic this year to just chat realistic. about the books in general that I wanna read, the 21 books I wanna read. <laughs> The first category I have is series that okay. I want to Okay, you should have a problem These with this. series I expect. On I feel like we've done well. I like start on what I own so far. So first is The Raven Cycle. I want to oh. read both The Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves okay. this year. Well, I have plans to read this, I think, in about February, March time for a video. So, here's the situation. I have read The Raven Boys. Let it be known. I've read that. Have not read whatever the second one is, Dream Thieves. Um... Let, okay, I, <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, <laughs> I liked The Raven Boys, but I didn't love it. And the second one, when am I going to continue with this series? Genuinely. Part of, okay, here's the thing. We all know I love my themed reading vlogs. There's a little niggling part of me that wants to do some kind of like finishing or reading whole series vlog series next year. But like, I almost don't think anyone would wanna watch that. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if people care about series. I don't know if they would do as well as my other videos. And I know that's not important, but like, I wanna do videos that people wanna watch and I just don't know if anyone would care. Like I would kind of give a review of the first book that I've read and then read the other ones in the vlog. But <laughs> I don't know, let me know what you think. But yeah, listen, at least I've read one. We're half for half at the moment, which is something. And then the other series I wanna make sure I start this year is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. I do own this, but it's wrapped up for my wrapped up series where I- I have read Ember in the Ashes. Oh my God, go Megan. We are ahead. I am so proud of myself. I'm literally the best. <laughs> I am so proud of her, I could cry. So I did start this series, but I will not be continuing because I really, I did not like Ember in the Ashes. I'm a bit nervous about some of the YA a fantasy I've still got on my TBR because it's very like, amazing for me or a miss more than hit or miss it's like top tier or low tier like i um, i i don't know i'm very nervous but yeah i read it but i will not be continuing with the series now the next couple of books are all non-fiction non i definitely want to read more non-fiction this year that is another one of my reading goals that, that hasn't happened like. reading goals right, well that's spoiling another video yeah. we're going to do in december <laughs> first but which i don't okay. know how many people will be interested in but i want to read save the cat writes a novel by jessica Brody. this is one that i <laughs> haven't read it okay listen we don't oh, oh are you all right yeah. the writing anything related to writing is a is a sore spot for me i've written this year like 800 words <laughs> don't i don't even want to talk about it can we just not can we just like gloss over it listen i know i say like every month 
I need to write my book. That is true. It's just finding the time. I just don't have time. I just don't have time. But I'm hoping January and February are going to be quieter months. So hopefully I will be able to, you know, actually start writing my book. That is the goal. And Save the Cat, Write as a Novel, is going to be something that I read to help me do that. But have I read it yet? No. Thanks! <laughs> Another okay. non-fiction I want to make sure I get to this year is Disfigured on Fairy Tales, Disability and Making Space by Amanda. <laughs> I picked this up on Kayla from Books and Lala's recommendation. Haven't read it. Okay, listen, I want to read that so bad. This is just, we come back to the problem of my videos and fitting books into videos and how I need to get better at fitting non-fiction in particular into my themed ideas. That is like one of the books still that if I like made a TBR now, the books I most want to read, Disfigured will be on there. Like I want to read it so bad. I'm so interested in the topic, but nonfiction is letting us down because I have not read a lot this year. Also, this makes me so excited <laughs> for my fucking 2021 goals video because I bet you write more is going to be on there and I bet you, re well, we know read more nonfiction is going to be on there and I, I haven't done that. I don't know how many nonfiction I've read this year, but it's not a lot. Is Forgotten <laughs> Women, The Writers by Jing Sheng. Oh, I've spoken about this series quite Jesus a lot. Wait, have I read that? No, 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 haven't. You may say I'm a dreamer. Haven't read it. Oh dear, it's not going well, everyone. I thought we'd be doing better than this. This is the thing with the non-fiction books. They are some of my top books that I want to read. And yet, um, it's not happening. <laughs> Yeah, I love this series. I talk about it quite a lot, this Forgotten Women series. It's like books about women, the history of Forgotten, but that were incredibly influential. And um, this is another book that I'm still very excited to read. So listen, cl clown, clown behavior right here. Okay, that was a last nonfiction book. So what is the next section gonna be? Next, let's quickly talk about this series I want to finish Fuck. this year. There's only hold up, three hold up. I've put on how, how many? Have I finished three series this year? I don't think I have. So this is, this is not happening. I, Listen, oh, fucking, why do I base a lot of this around series? Why do I hate myself? Okay, whatever. The first series I want to finish is The Themis Files by Sylvain Nouvelle. This is Waking Gods and oh, Only dear. Human. I need to oh, read to dear. finish this. And this is basically, haven't, haven't read it. I haven't read either of them. Oh my God. I actually, no, I'm ending the video. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. Have not continued with this series at all. Considering I have the audiobooks and it would be very easy for me to listen to them, this is a travesty. This is actually like a sackable offense. If I was a football manager, no one will get this reference. If I was a football manager, this is too many losses on the bounce. I'd be gone. I'd be gone and fucking Wayne Rooney would be coming in in my place to run this channel. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Listen, this series, I loved the first one so much. I loved the audiobook so, so much. And I own the next two and I wasn't even going to vlog these. So I don't have the excuse that they didn't fit. <laughs> they didn't fit into a vlog, so I can't have read them. Like, I got these with the intention of not vlogging it because I hadn't vlogged the first one. So, like, who would care? I... <laughs> I feel under attack, a spiritual attack. This is bad. This is this is very bad. This is very bad. Okay, let's have hope. Let's have hope. After <laughs> promising it for so long, I'm finally gonna get to Six of Crows and Cuckoo Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I love Ninth House. Yes! Yeah! Okay, okay, I have read both of them. I have read both of them. Oh my god, I am so happy. They're up there. Can you see them? I did a reading vlog for those two and I love it. I love Six of Crows Kingdom. Listen, they were some of the oldest books on my TBR. They were getting very old. I like could not go any longer anymore without reading them. Like it was just not like, listen, I just couldn't make any more excuses. So I had to. <sighs> okay. I feel like we're starting to get back into it. Let's believe. And then the last series I want to finish this year is, oh my God. No. <laughs> the Dragon Republic and The Burning God by R.F. Crack. I knew before I even saw these, by the sound of me holding them, what they were. There's two more I haven't read. These are just too scary. Like they're too big. I'm just so scared. I'm just so scared. It's sad. It's very sad. Very sad for me. Very, very sad for me. This is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know when I'm gonna read them. I do, this is like one of the series I'd most like to finish. This is what makes me wanna do that video series next year, but like, I just don't think anyone would care. Like, I don't think it would, huh. 
I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Anyway, moving swiftly on to- Oh, all right, let's stories. have some success One here. Is <gasps> by I've read it, I have read it. Okay, we're gonna have a resurgence here. I can feel it in my bones. I can actually feel it in my bones. We're gonna have a resurgence. I've read Legend Born. Didn't love it. It was like a three star. The way that ended did make me a little bit excited to, con to continue on with the series, but I didn't love it. And like, as time goes on, I'm like, do I just want to DNF the series? Like, do I care? that much what happens in the next book. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's one, that one's up for debate with that. If you have arguments for or against, tell me in the comments over whether you think I should continue on with the series or whether you think I shouldn't. And then next is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I am so are you now? to read this. I are you? I mentioned before, I've got yeah, yeah, a do. set video oh, idea God. for this book, but there's no- Yeah, I still have the video idea for that book and I still really want to do it. I just need to get my ass together. Well, I need to get my shit together and I I feel I feel like I am the shit with this pen excuse me I need to hold a pen in the rest of my videos how are you I'm successful how are you <laughs> I need to get my shit together and just figure out two of the books for that video because it's not that hard like I could do it um I just need to figure out what those books are I need to do the vlog in January I could do that in January I could if I wanted to but I haven't, so I haven't read it. And the next book is Come Tumbling Down by Sean and Maguire. <gasps> this is the latest in the Wayward Children series. I have read it. I've read two of the Wayward Children series this year. I've read Come Tumbling Down and Across the Green Grass Fields. And I really want to read the one that comes out in January where the Jam Girls go. I have a physical arc of it and I really want to get around to that soon. So I have read Come Tumbling Down, yes. Oh my God, so happy. Yeah, that was a great book. Sean and Maguire just, I think is my one of my favorite authors ever. Like I've read so many of her books and they were all like four or five stars i've never given a shauna mcguire less than four stars so um yeah an icon a legend a moment and then the last general book i do own but again it's wrapped up somewhere and it is the sanatorium by sarah pierce <gasps> I've read it! I read that right at the start of the year, very, very early on. And I enjoyed it. Like, I thought it was pretty good. I'm excited for the next one to come out. This was a debut and I thought it was a pretty, like, it was all right debut. I quite enjoyed it. And this just shows, like, I don't necessarily read the book that I'm most excited for. Because, like, I'm easily more excited for Forgotten Women, the writers, for Mexican Gothic than I was for the sanatorium. But I just read it, you know because I had, well, I think actually that was in Wrapped Up. That was an episode of Wrapped Up, so I had to read it because I unwrapped it. So I was still excited for it. Obviously it's on this list, but it just shows you like, I am a strange reader. We don't know what's wrong with her, honestly. Love is a Revolution by Renee Watson. Oh! Oh my God, we're almost even. I have read Love is a Revolution. I do love Renee Watson, but I didn't love this book. It was kind of just average for me. It was like three stars. I think it could have been longer. It was a bit like quick for me. I read it so long ago, I can barely remember it. Next is The Project by Courtney Summers. <gasps> We're half and half. <laughs> this is so good, oh my God. I have read The Project. Oh my God, she's, oh, I just love it. Oh my God, The Project was a very, like that was a five star for me. That was one of my favorite new releases that have come out this year. I just absolutely love it. The Project, oh my God, how amazing. Next is Darling by Ooh. Kay Ankrum. Kay Ankrum is an author I've really loved this year. Ooh, I have okay. read The Rookie well, and I do. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I have not, I have not read Darling. I don't even own it. I haven't even bought Darling because I was so excited for this book, but then it didn't get very good reviews. Like the people who I know have loved Kay Ankrum as much as me, like Kayla and Mina, neither of them really liked it. So I was just a bit scared off by it. I was kind of like convinced that I wouldn't end up liking it. So I haven't even bought it. I do still really want to read it, but like it kind of slipped down the priority of new releases for me. Cause I was just like, Oh my god, I don't know if I'm as excited anymore. Like, I don't... Mm. <laughs> then next is Survive the Night by Riley Sager. Fuck. Riley Sager's a super popular oh thriller author on here. Oh I have dear. read these two. So I have not read Survive the Night. Another one that got very bad reviews. <laughs> but I, I own it, at least. I got it from Book of the Month, actually. And so I own it. And I, I, I listen, it's wrapped up. I could unwrap it in that series and I would really like to read it. This has had such awful reviews that like I have to read it. Like people have thrown it at the wall. They've laughed at how bad it, the ending is. Like I've heard it's terrible and I'm like, but is it? Like sometimes I don't hate things that everyone else hates. So we got to see. And then lastly, I'm going to read this the day it comes out. Am I? 
Heartstopper Volume Four by Alice Ozer. Fucking hell! <laughs> that was gonna be that was gonna be famous last words. That was gonna be famous last words. Oh my god! Imagine if I was like, I am gonna read this the day it comes out, and then I didn't read it. I have read Heartstopper Volume Four. I listen. I probably did read this the day it comes out. I love Heartstopper. I'm never not gonna read that. And it's a graphic novel, so it's easy to get to. We were half and half, pretty much. It was ten versus eleven. I had read ten by my calculations. Read ten not read 11, which I did set myself up for failure, but part of me was hoping I wouldn't fail, so I'm still a bit disappointed. Dear Lord, what a sad little life, Jane. <laughs> Listen, it's not the worst, but that considering this was like the books I was so sure I was gonna read this year, this is not good, not good, not, not, mm. Not good. I was hoping this would be like a happy like Christmas studio where I was like, oh my god, look, I read all the books, go me. And like, I was hoping if I was like, oh, I'm not gonna read any of them. By the end, everyone was like, Megan, I knew you could do it. You should have believed in yourself. But actually, no, I shouldn't have, because I didn't. Delusion. <laughs> Convince yourself. So listen, not the end of the world. I will read these books eventually, because they are still books I'm very excited for. But let me know down below how many of them you've read and what you thought of them. Any of them your favourite, any that you think, Megan, you just shouldn't read that. Like, you'll probably say that for Survive the Night. I kind of know that's coming, but part of me still wants to read it. Like, part of me is still excited for that book and, like, intrigued. So let me know what you thought of them down below. If you've gotten to the end of this video, comment a headphones emoji if you've gotten to the end. But listen. I'm still gonna make a 22 books I need to read in 2022 video. You can't stop me. Cause the serotonin I get from making those TBR videos and also from making these reaction videos like a secret part of me that like likes pain, that likes it. You can't stop me. So I'm still gonna make that video and then I will react to it at the end of the year and I will have read even less. So look forward to that. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will speak to you very soon. Bye.